What up, YouTube? It's your boy RDS and let's go. Oh, yeah. Y'all see me drinking my tea. I know a lot of y'all get a kick out of that. And y'all know what I always say when it comes to tea. Only honey, no sugar. That's the only way you can go. For real. But we about to jump into some Vanda. I'm hoping I'm saying it right. I'm going to get it sooner or later. I promise y'all that. I will get it. I'm about to be honest with y'all. I am not going to say this title. Because I already know I'm going to get get it wrong. I know blood. I can say blood. It's just that first word. I'm sorry. I can't. I don't want to say it wrong. Let me go to it right fast. Uh... Kamar, Kamur, Hamur, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Like I say, I'm not the. I would see Irish student, I always say that. <laughs> but I can't pronounce that, y'all, for real. I cannot. I'm sorry. Well, we about to jump into this video because, like I say, dude is straight hot and I like his videos. I like the color scheme, I like uh, everything about it so far so i'm about to keep uh going keep moving forward with vonda and there's gonna be a lot more reactions coming out y'all so y'all just stay tuned make sure y'all hit that subscribe button hit that notification y'all can know when i come out with some more of these reactions let's go saying I got Kamar blood to protect me. Hold on, let me go back. So he said he got it in his he got it in his veins to protect him. So what is that like? Like a family thing, or is it like a tribe? Is it? it, it what is it? It's something you have to grow up in. But they say he got it in his blood, and so the title is Kamar Blood, so is that like a, I don't know, like a, some type of family uh, bloodline? So hit me up in the comments and let me know. So I just found out that the Khmer's and altruistic people are one of the oldest ethnic groups in the area. What is it? filtered into Cambodia. It's a what? They're the oldest ethnic group in the area. So, okay. So, so Khmer, also known as Cambodian. So, it's, so Khmer is Cambodian. Similar to Cambodian. 
Oh, okay. And it's the language of the Khmer people. Oh, I'm just so trying Khmer to. I'm culture. just trying to understand, y'all. So my girl just told me that it's a culture. Okay, so, so like that's what he mean by he got Khmer blood in him. Okay, now I got it. Now I got it, y'all. Oh, they a lot of reactions to that all the time. This let y'all know, like, I take this very seriously. I have to know what I'm uh, watching. I have to. I don't just want to look at a video and just get reactions. I got to know what I'm watching. I have to know the meaning behind the video, the person in the video, the people in the video. That's just how I am. I want to know the meaning behind a title if I don't understand it. So basically, he had to claw his way out. This video, to me, is showing his fans, the people out there, what it was really like growing up in Cambodia. How hard it was to get out. How a lot of people then believing him enough that he was gonna you know make it and push his way out break through and become who he is today and I you know I never been to Cambodia I never met anyone that's from Cambodia but from this video it's sort of like when you in America and you grow up 
in a society where nothing comes easy. So you really have to earn everything. You have family members that's out here, you know, fighting every single day to get what they need. Scratching their way to the top, clawing their way to the top. And then you have people that bring you down who don't have enough faith in you that you're gonna succeed in making in life. And it's like, like I said, that's pretty much growing up in a hood in America or growing up in a poor environment. It's not always a hood. Sometimes you can be um, third class individuals or um, people who like live off um, minimum wage. It's kind of hard to live a life off minimum wage. So that's like a good comparison to a lot of people out there in Cambodia that's struggling to make it. So this was a good video to show and explain what's going on over there so we can get a grasp on it and understand Cambodia. And there's still a lot more to it, I'm pretty sure of it. But I'm happy he put that out there and I'm happy he made it. He's proof that you can uh, grow up hard Grew up in a tough situation, but still make it. So that's what's up. That's why I'm going to steady follow him. Even though, like I say, I don't uh, know exactly what he be saying when he be uh, rapping or singing. But you can read everything, of course. Even though it goes by real fast. That's why you have to pause so many times so you can really see the words. Because that shit goes back quick. If you're not a speed reader. A lot of people out here ain't speed readers. But yeah, that, that was... I like that. That was like a little singing to it he didn't really rap he pretty much had like a little toned down voice and i like that he wasn't like really fast with it how he usually is on his videos so that's what's up so hit me up in the comments and let me know what y'all think of uh kamar blood i hope i'm saying that right i'm pretty sure i'm not but i'm gonna make sure that um i figure out how to say that right like i say, i'm not doing this just to get reactions i gotta know what i'm listening to until next time you already know hit that subscribe button click that bell as always peace love and deuces